Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here, and welcome to another episode of Max It Recommends. Today we're doing the follow up episode on Patrick Roberts, the young England youth hopeful who is at Fulham right now, and as you can see, in game has progressed on to Manchester City. And before we look at his stats and uh, technical, mental, and physical, I'm just going to quickly look at his career history. You see, he went up to 2018 as a player at Fulham before Manchester City went in with a, a £10.25 million pound bid. As you can see, he was getting regular games at Fulham, was scoring pretty much, you know, decent, you know, just under 10 goals in the last season there. The regular, at least getting 10 assists this season, which is quite promising. And then after Man City owned him back, 39 appearances, 15 goals and 15 assists. Pretty damn respectable in my opinion. So as you can see, his first full season at Man City has been okay. You know, he started 16 times, one sub appearance, and he got 5 assists, no goals. But... He's made that step up from obviously the Championship up to the Premier League, and he seems to have adapted quite well. He's now got 11 caps and two goals, valued at 13 and a half million. So that's going to be interesting to see how he progresses from that. He's just turned 23 in February, so still a lot of time for improvement. And if we look quickly just at his technical stats, the one that's really improved from the the last video is when he was um, at Fulham at the start. His crossing was only nine. That's went up to a 13. His dribbling's remained the same at 16. He's had slight uh, improvements to his uh, first touch. His finishing's the exact same. His free kick taken's went up by 6. So it's just small stats like that that have kind of really took a massive jump. Apart from that, he likes these techniques going up and these passing has just went up. So a lot of stuff have just went up by one or two, but there are some that have mass improvements. But even at his age, there is room to really improve. They've also retrained him. As you know, at the start, he's just a natural AMC. They've now turned him into a mid right. So, I mean, you've got the potential if you take Patrick Roberts to turn him not only into a, like an AMC, but you could turn him into a, you could turn him into a right mid. You could make him a, an AMR, an AML. There's so many options with Patrick Roberts. It's not, I don't know how you would prefer to use him. Uh, the mental side of things, I think, is where he's made his biggest improvements. Uh, the likes of aggression and stuff like that and bravery are all the same, but the composures went up. The concentration has went up by quite a few. That used to be 10, that's not up to 13. Decisions has went up by a lot. That was only 6 previously, that's now 13. Determination, sadly still a 4. So if you can get that determination up, he could improve even more than he's at the now. Flair has remained exactly the same. The leadership has went up by 4, that started off at a 7. Off the ball was up by 2. And the rest of the position in the teamwork, the vision, are roughly the same. There's maybe a wee improvement to vision. But work rate remains pretty much the same. He's up to his acceleration, that was a 17, that's now up at an 18. Agility remains the same, the balance is up. The jump and reach went from a 2 to a 4, so obviously you're never going to use him for, for heading or stuff like that. And the only thing else that they've improved on is his uh, pace has went from a 14 to a 17, and his strength was a 5, and that's now a 7, so he's always going to be slim out. So you may just want to get him to keep lifting, and who knows what that's going to get to. I mean, I still think he'll do it in a, maybe not in Man City, I think that's maybe a level too high, but if he can definitely do it, you know, an Everton or something, maybe like a top 10, just to get it the top 10 of the Premier League sides, maybe six years in. But it's all done if somebody takes a punt on him quicker, gets some, say, into a bigger team quicker, and uses one of the best shooters in the world to kind of really get him mentally sorted, then he can improve tenfold. So this him after six seasons, it's going to be interesting to see how Patrick Roberts ends out. After 10, what a difference a few years makes. Patrick Roberts, who we've seen in the last video four years ago, was at Manchester City, has now arrived at Chelsea, and wow, he looks spectacular. Quick career review. After leaving, after uh, being at Man City, sorry, he left that summer. After we'd done the video, he went to Chelsea for 26.5 million, so after just 17 games, Chelsea forked out the big money. And every season at Chelsea in the Premier League, he's had at least 10 assists. 15 assists in both 21-22 and the 22-23 seasons, which is amazing. His average rating has been nothing sort of short of superb as well. And he's even managed to chip in with some goals. But just the difference in his career in the last four years has been simply incredible. He's really been at his peak between 23 and 27 and really shown a good, good football now. So he's now had 40 caps for England, 5 goals, so that's pretty decent. He still remains an attacking mid-centre plus a mid-right. Just looking at those stats now, I mean, you've got the crossing. The dribbling's perfect. 
The finishing could still improve. Good first touch. He could take free kicks. You know, he's passing again. I would try and work on that. That's another very bit poor. The technique's good. If you look at the, the mental side of things, he's still a bit short on aggression and bravery, but the composure's high. His flair is high. Off the ball's tremendous. Positioning could maybe do a bit of work and maybe teamwork can work great. But then again, he is one of those kind of selfish, I'm doing this moan kind of player. So I can understand why that would be kind of low. The vision's high. And apart from the strength and the jumping reach, the physicals are absolutely tremendous. You know, you've got the acceleration at 17, the agility at 18, the balance at 16, the fitness is high, the pace is even higher, and even the stamina is good. So I, I would definitely recommend Patrick Roberts. I mean, he's certainly, maybe not world class, but I think he's just um, one of the high quality English players you're going to get in the game. And I think if you get your own hands on him, rather than the AI, his development could turn out pretty damn awesome. But it's good to see he's one of the players that 10 years in looks like he's going to be a real player in FM15. So if you haven't bought him, guys, I would definitely recommend taking a look at Patrick Roberts. He's definitely a one player. Maxi recommends. Until next game, guys, this was Twitter on Maxwell, and I'll speak to you again real soon. Bye bye.